just wanted to give you a heads up that I accidentally sat a little too close to the camera while filming this video, so we're about to get real close and personal. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> but I hope you enjoy the video nonetheless. Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Casey. I'm so excited for today's video. I'm gonna be sharing with you my very first purchase from the brand Tammy Tanuka. I purchased the Languid Chestnut Toad Eyeshadow Palette. There will be timestamps in the description box when I do these types of videos, when it's my first time ever trying a brand, especially an indie brand. I like to do a bit of a deep dive, talk about the background, the inspiration, the vision behind the brand. I personally find that very, very interesting and important when it comes to the world of beauty. And then we will get into the specifics of the palette, the vision behind the palette, as well as live swatches. And then I will be doing three looks using this palette. However, I will probably do this as two separate videos, this one being more informational and the second video being the eyeshadow look, so it's not one long mega video, but I will post them back to back so you can watch them both if you're interested. So if this is of interest to you, keep on watching and I hope you enjoy. Upon researching this brand in preparation for this video, it was difficult to gather information because their website is completely in Russian as well as their Instagram page. And while I'm able to translate it to English, I worry that some things are lost in translation. So please correct me if I'm wrong, but I've done my best to gather as much accurate information as I could. I took many notes in preparation for this video so if you see me referencing them. Sigil Inspired is an indie brand from Russia. Tammy Tunuka is the owner. Tammy Tunuka is a photographer, a colorist, and an author of the gaming universe. Sigil Inspired was created in 2012. Since 2012, the brand has grown in popularity and they now ship worldwide. It all started with handmade cosmetics, the desire to create not only an ideal palette, but also an original concept based on a gaming fantasy style, where each shade, as it were, was a spell to invoke a certain image. What does that mean, you ask? Well, each shade has a name and a fairy tale story. Choose a tone, paint, and again. You can become a new character, invoke any mood, suit any occasion. They have endless possibilities of colors and shadows to suit any embodiment. Upon entering the sigil-inspired atmosphere, it says, here eye shadows become spells to challenge your look. The brand is heavily inspired by medieval fantasy with elves, dragons, gnomes, magicians, which results in very original product names. They have many different products available to purchase from palettes, pressed eyeshadows, nail polish, chromatics, loose pigments, loose highlighter, loose face powder, loose contour, loose bronzer, nail flakies. They have over 600 eyeshadow shades to offer from matte velvet to sparkling mica, from the brightest prismatic to the most delicate nude. The brand does have their own website and it's a very well-themed website. However, I personally find it difficult to maneuver. I've heard that it is difficult to purchase through the website. However, I am going to link a YouTube video I found. She walks you through step-by-step -step on how to place an order through the Sigil Inspired website. She did a very good, very thorough job, so I highly recommend checking out that video. However, Sigil Inspired also has an Etsy shop, which is where I purchased my palette from. I'm not sure if there's a huge difference whether you purchase from the website or the Etsy shop, if they only offer certain items in the Etsy shop versus the website that I'm not entirely sure, but they have a lot of products to offer. It was very easy to get lost and build a cart very, very quickly, but I limited myself to the palette this time since it was my very first purchase from the brand just to feel out the formula, but spoiler, I'm very impressed. I like it a lot. From what I gathered, the brand is not just a brand. It is an atmosphere. They want to invoke the fantasy universe of Sigil. So everything from the this store where the products are made and shipped out to the actual products and delivery themselves. Since the brand is so heavily themed and they really want to invoke this image into their consumers, they have since hired storytellers, artists, and photographers to help capture the image and capture the magic of the products so that when you receive your item, you really feel like you're part of the world or even just perusing the website in their Instagram you you definitely catch the sigil inspired vibe so this part is where I'm, I'm not sure if I completely understand but again I'm reading directly from the website it says every week a special theme is announced in the mood of which there are promotions sets makeup lessons along with the theme of the week themed packaging of orders is also being developed 
Everything from the design of the box, the tabs with the letters, illustrations, cards, all for the greater immersion of the atmosphere. Their goal is to not just deliver jars of shadows, but a parcel from the fairy lands. And that's exactly how I felt upon receiving my palette. It was wrapped in this beautiful mossy green wrapping paper bundled together with a few bonus items they sent me, as well as the card for the palette, which back to the whole game fantasy style, I'm not sure if this is true, but I am wondering if like the cards, it's, it's sort of like a collect them all type thing. So not only are you receiving these beautiful products, but it's, it's almost like a game where with each card you collect or product rather, you're able to create a new character, a new mood. You're able to embody this new presence and adorn yourself with their products how you so choose. This is why I love doing deep dives of brands because you get to see the vision and it becomes so much more than just a brand. Truly someone's work of art and pure imagination poured into the products and the branding. Before we dive into the palette, I just want to show you the two bonus items they included in my order. The first one is this loose pigment. It is Citron Bard. It's, it's a jar and then the lid has this really cool, unique detailing. I haven't played with the loose pigment yet, but it is this beautiful citron light yellow pigment with a metallic finish. It's unlike any other loose pigments that I've ever worked with. I mean, normally when I open a loose pigment, it's, it's pretty messy, but this is really, really finely milled. Um, I'm not like experiencing any sort of fallout as I'm playing with it here, but it looks like it can be dusted on for just a really light dusting of this beautiful yellow pigment or built up. I'm sure if I were to use like a mixing medium, it would really apply very vibrant. And then the other was a pressed eyeshadow. It came in this little cardboard envelope and it's all in Russian, so I, I'm not sure what the eyeshadow's name is, but it is a gorgeous blushy pink metallic pressed shadow that looks like it's gonna have like a purple and a red flip to it. I did put this on top of my eyes the night that I received it just to play with it. And oh, it's, it's like they knew me. They knew exactly what my heart wanted and they chose the best KC shadow they had to offer. It doesn't look super exciting, just swatched, but on the eyelids, especially if you apply it wet, oh, it's beautiful. All right, let's get into the eyeshadow palette. So this is the Languid Chestnut Toad eyeshadow palette. It is quite small. When I purchased it, they had two size options. This one was the smaller one. They referred to it as the sample size and it is six refills of 15 millimeter size pans and it retails for $24.30. The full size has six refills of 26 millimeter size pans and it retails for $47.70. So the outside here has this rose gold detailed frog. Um, the back has information about the palette, but again, it's all in Russian. And from my understanding, I forgot to mention this when I was talking about the brand, but each eyeshadow has a number as well as a name. And the number correlates to, you know, how many shadows they have. So when, say, I were to use up one of these palettes completely, I'm able to just repurchase that single palette and I can order it based on that number, if that makes sense. I thought that was really, really cool and I wish all brands would do that. How amazing would that be? So that in the event I were to use up one of my favorite shades rather than repurchasing the entire palette, I can just pop the pan out and purchase a refill. I thought that was just so, so great. So inside here are the six shades and they are very, very small. However, this is perfect size for someone like me with a very large eyeshadow palette collection, especially being that this is not going to be an everyday palette for me. This is definitely a certain mood, a certain vibe. I have to be feeling a certain way to reach for this. So in my opinion, this sample size is ideal. So the description of this palette is, it is a dark high contrast palette of earthy brown and green shades, perfect for grungy and smoky eye makeup. They do say that this palette may require additional shades to create a full eye look, which I really appreciate. They come right out and say that this is gonna be more of a companion palette, which in my opinion, I think they did a great job of having a nice range of colors. You've got two mattes to work with here, a highlighter shade, and these three beautiful metallic shades to amp up your look. So I do feel that you could get a complete look out of this one palette. But again, I do appreciate that they come right out and say that this is meant to be a companion palette.
All right, guys, that is going to wrap up this video. If you are interested in watching the three looks with this palette, I'll have that video linked in the description box below for you, and it should also be recommended for you to watch next. I hope you enjoyed. I would love to hear your thoughts. Do you like knowing the vision, the story behind these brands? I personally find it incredibly interesting. In our world today, with an endless number of beauty brands available to us and new ones seeming to be launched every single day, I really like knowing the vision and the the inspiration behind a brand. It really helps me connect better with the brand and really adds to the overall vibe when I'm using the products. I would also like to know, have you purchased anything from Sigil Inspired? Do you have any of their products? Which ones do you love? Which ones do you recommend? What should I try next when it's time for me to place another order? Because again, spoiler alert, I really, I really enjoyed this palette. I think it's really cool. I really do think it adds something to my eyeshadow collection, even though I have many. I love the grunge looks that this palette can create. And I also did create more of a subtle, subtle, neutral, more everyday type look. So I really think there's a lot of versatility in these six shadows. I wanna thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you hit the subscribe button so you can come back next time. And until next time, I hope you have the most wonderful day. All right, guys, that is gonna con con conclude, con 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 conclude. All right, guys, that is gonna con conclude, conclude. Hey, welcome back. <coughs> both at the same but i will post them at this but i'll post both but i will post both so this is my very first <clears throat> so this is my very purchase <clears throat>